So, hello everyone, welcome to Alcala Technology. Here we are. So, this is the Alfa Romeo 1600 GT Junior from 74 that we have been restoring from scratch. Actually, we have done every single bolt. And when I say every single bolt, it's real. Actually, you can have a look. So, every part is new. Every part, brakes, tires, engine, even the exhaust that we are fitting right now but hey i'm not gonna show you anything else because i want you to see how it was this car in the past So now you know how the car arrived and now I'm gonna explain you step by step which is the procedure of repairing such a car in that status. So I will let you with Manel of the past because everything is recorded already and I let you enjoy of what we have been doing, the explanations of everything and all the processes. Now we are fitting the front bonnet, also fitting the two doors right and left and fitting the rear bonnet. We have just finished the interior where we changed completely all the floor, front and rear. So now what we need to do is to fit the doors in, try to lock them as they should be, then try to follow all the lines from the chassis to the parts, as you know, come and see that. You see how it was before. So it's been repaired several times. We think that car had crashed before because in the front was not aligned and the rear is quite tricky to align because you can see all the arrows from new parts from chassis also here look the gap we have over here so that we need to be repaired before doing all the other stuff going on when we do all the body next week we're gonna start sanding all the disperfection we're gonna be putting all the putty in the car that needs to be just to clear all the surfaces and now what we're doing is just checking new parts that they are just arriving every week because we have several parts coming from <laughs> around the world it's quite tricky to find parts from this age and also for for the right hand side alfa romeo uh, so now let's continue with this project because it's going to be a massive project <laughs> So hello everyone, we are now in another procedure which I want to show you after we have changed all the rusty parts. Now I want you to show and see uh, all the parts that we were hammering 
repairing, sanding, and then the most important thing, the preparation of all the body. So come and see it. We have finished to do the hard work making the plane surfaces. So now we're gonna do the the little little edges so that it must be done only with hand. Uh, you can see the hard work we're doing here. So now it's quite tricky because you need to sand very very well the last bits that uh, the big jigs they cannot afford. So let's continue and next do the next step. From our partner Iwata, we have this gun that we use for doing the primer. So as you can see, we have this primer in light gray and after this one, we're gonna apply the uh, dark gray. So tomorrow it will be much easier to us to find all the defects and disperfections that the, the body is having. So let's see how it goes. So here you see, you can see the light gray is in here, the dark gray we have it here. So tomorrow it will help us to find all the surfaces that they were a bit, you know, not straight or to find uh, the little issues that we couldn't find when we were working hard all this shape. So you will see tomorrow, I will send you a video because tomorrow we will do it in red because I want the car totally shiny. As soon as I have the, the car totally shiny, we will see all the defects, all the uh, wrong surfaces. So we are working hard to finish this week and have every single thing, every single detail of the car totally ready to fit the mechanics. So we'll see. So. Here we are, we are sanding the dark primer, as yesterday I explained to you, we use this dark primer to adjust and align every single defect that the chassis has for the body itself. So you can see that we are removing the dark one to the light one, having a complete plain surface, so using liquid blocks it helps us to remove those watermarks so actually it works really 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 well and well this afternoon we will proceed to do the painting of the engine bay insides and then we will paint also the outsides So here we are, very exciting moment because we have the car inside the cabin booth. Actually, I want to show you how the car is now because everything is really, really ready to get paint. Now we're gonna change totally the car because now it's gonna be red again. So come, follow me and see what's here. So the car is inside, ready. We are degrading, preparing everything. The, the paint is ready. So in three, two, one. So here we have the Alpha painted in Rosso Alpha. So the same color that in that ages those Alpha were from out from Alfa Romeo factory.
now we have everything ready. I have my guy doing the engine upstairs in mechanic place. So this afternoon we have this car going up. We will fit the engine in during today and tomorrow. And during this week, we're gonna fit all the suspension members, all the down parts of the car. So we'll have all the mechanics fitted in the car. After that, when I have the car in four wheels, we, the car will come here again. So we will do again the procedure of sanding all the body, preparing it for the last, last paint procedure, which is the one that ATEC gives and giving the totally shiny surface that we really want to these cars to go to China. So I will keep you updated of all, all that process and all the mechanical and all the body when it comes here again and we will see how it goes. So cheers. So hello everyone. From now you have seen all the process that we have been doing regarding the body repair how we were sanding, how we were painting, how we were changing rusty parts. So from now, the next chapter, you will see how we are fitting the underneath mechanics, all the engine in and all the fitting of all this beauty. So be in tune because that's gonna be amazing.